Ang Integrated Bar of the Philippines po o IBP, yan po ang uh, national association namin ng mga lawyers. Lahat po ng abogado, uh, miyembro po niyan ng Integrated Bar of the Philippines. Ngayon, uh, ang aming uh, pambansang samahan na Integrated Bar of the Philippines, pag may mga maiinit na issue at usapin, naglalabas po ang uh, lider liderato, ang aming mga national officers ng mga statements. Uh, yan ang nagiging uh, stand o sentimiento ng buong uh, ng buong ng lahat ng mga abogado sa Pilipinas. Ayan, uh, uh, ang nagsasalita para sa mga abogado ng Pilipinas ay itong aming samahan na Integrated Bar of the Philippines. So, sa mainit na isyu ngayon tungkol kay Gadon, ah, uh, uh, hindi yung pagkaka-appoint kay Gadon ang isyu dito mga kabunyog ha. Ang isyu dito Nag-guest uh, si Gadon sa isang talk show, sa isang TV show. Uh, matindi ang mga sina mga binitiwang salita na naman ito ni Gadon. Well, uh, they announced it in the media but I haven't received any notice yet. So, uh, by uh, procedure, I can still uh, uh, file a motion for reconsideration. And this department is not, uh, does not have res judicata uh, principle na pwede ka mag- mag-reapply anytime. And ako naman, hintayin ko lang na mamatay si Justice Marie Vicione mm. like at life. <laughs> oh, Oy, knock on wood. Yeah. Knock I mean, on wood. Because that, 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 that uh, disbarment is just a vengeance of uh, Justice Marie Vicione uh, against me because I filed an, uh, an impeachment case against him in 2019. And I also filed the impeachment case against uh, uh, Maria Lourdes Sirelo, who was booted out of the Supreme Court. I don't Court. think we can call it that, sir. I mean, there have been a number of disbarment cases filed against you yes. right, over the oh, viral are, videos, so yes. I don't think we can call it payback at no, this point. No, because all of these are just uh, nuisance cases. And then how eh, come? Supreme Court na to, sir. I don't oh, think nga, we can oh, call pero, it nuisance. Alam mo, ang, ang Supreme Court meron doon binipili eh. How come uh, Attorney Chell Jokno, in a hearing before the Supreme Court, uh, submitted a fake document, and still the Supreme Court did not uh, mind. I Laila don't know Dilima. about that case, mm -hmm. so La I can't oh, it comment was, it on was, it. Uh, it was all over the, the news. <laughs> Laila Dilima, who admitted in the Senate hearing, no less than a Senate hearing, admitted that she had an illicit, illegal, immoral relationship with her driver bodyguard. Then how come she was not disbarred? And Laila Dilima defied openly the order of the Supreme Court in allowing Gloria Arroyo, President Gloria Arroyo, okay. Arroyo to travel abroad. She defied, she openly defied that order. Then how come the Supreme okay. Court did not even bother to call her attention? Right, so, right. just because I am a BBM supporter, si Mari Vicionen, e pinaginita na ako. Okay. That's why I'm going to die. Yeah, exactly. No, off the hand I, na tayo. We can't oh. go back to the old cases. And not only that, that not I, would like, I would like to clarify that I was being disbarred, not because I am dumb, stupid, mm -hmm. or because I stole a property of the client. No, they were very clear. It was because of the abusive, sexist, oh. and mm -hmm. misogynistic language. They were very clear but about it. But I did it. not upload it. Yeah, there but was it still case, was released. But it was supposed to be a private. And not, not only that, uh, it was matter. done during the height of the campaign. Hmm. And the, the trouble with you people, media, is that you are pointing uh, your finger against me. Then how come you are not uh, blaming Raisa also for uh, spreading lies, everyday lies against BBM? And that was done during the campaign. Okay, no one's pointing fingers we were at affected. you, sir. And yeah. uh, secondly, uh, I'm not going to comment on what Raisa did, right? Uh, but in any case, um, the Supreme Court has spoken. That is about as much as we're going to discuss It was very tonight. unfair. So, mm -hmm. Then how come mo, joke, no? How well, come Laila Dilima? Yeah. Well, you can oh, put that into the MR. Ben, uh, it was a vendetta against me by uh, Justice Marie Vicione. Okay. All right. Uh, Sec, we'll just uh, take that story. When the developments happen, we can discuss that. But no, for I'm now... I'm curious, like, how, how far will you go to get the attorney title back? Madali lang naman yun eh. Pag namatay si Leone, di mag-file ako ng uh, motion for reconsideration. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Siya lang uh, naman na may kagagawa nun eh. Right, check. Mm. Pero ano kasi, ito yung... Um... Nagihiganti. In fact, uh, some people in the Supreme Court actually called me up uh, before the day it was uh, issued on the media. Uh, they were convincing me to tell BBM, uh, President BBM, to call the Supreme Court 
to withhold the issuance of that uh, disbarment. Because they probably wanted to trade something for me. Uh, they want me. They want a trade off for me again uh, uh, against me and uh, the appointment of a chief justice. Maybe so. We can't. We we're in no position to fact check. Actually, <laughs> hindi naman ganun yun. <laughs> Wag kayong maniwala dyan kay Gadon. Ha? Kaya siya na disbar, wala namang nag-complain sa kanya. Muto propyo, ibig sabihin Korte Suprema na. Walang nagreklamo sa kanya, alam na yung kabastusan niya. Pero ang Supreme Court hindi na talaga mat ma ano, hindi na matolerate kasi kaba ano na eh, insulto na at uh, kabastusan na sa profession ng mga abogado. Kaya muto propyo, ibig sabihin abog Supreme Court na mismo, walang uh, complaint na in-initiate sa kanya. ni hindi nga dumaan sa Integrated Bar of the Philippines. Ganun katindi ang kasos ni Gadon. Yung mga binabanggit niya kay Chel Jokno, yung binabanggit niya kay Laila Dilima, yung binabanggit niya, sino pa ba yun? Uh, ano naman yun eh? Uh, hindi, hindi naman yun mga acts or omissions or mga kaso na pwede kang madisbar. Hindi naman. <laughs> hindi naman ganun yun. Uh, yung sa kanya talagang uh, matindi yun. Talagang karapat dapat na i-disbar siya. Anyway, ano bang laman ng statement ng IBP? Ito ang laman ng statement ng IBP, mga kabunyog, mga kababay. Kabunyog. Media statement, August 17, 17, 2023. August 17. Statement of the Integrated Bar of the Philippines in support of the integrity and, in integrity and independence of the Supreme Court of the Philippines. In a television interview on one news channel, yung pinanood natin kanina, A disbarred lawyer claimed that his disbarment is part of Justice Marvick Lunin's alleged vendetta against him. He likewise claimed that he was targeted by Justice Marvick Lunin because he is, he is a BBM supporter. Yan po ang sabi niya. Such, claim, such claims are baseless, malicious, and untrue. The Supreme Court is a collegial body. It takes at least one division or the court sitting in bank and bank to render a valid judgment. Statements that give the impression that justices of the Supreme Court can be influenced by one justice or that the Supreme Court's decision is tainted by politics are most unfair and contemptuous. The disbarred lawyers claim that he can reapply or file a motion for reconsideration kapag namatay si Justice Leonin is equally contemptuous. More troubling is the disbarred lawyers claim that some people in the Supreme Court actually called him the day before his disbarment was announced to the media. The call was supposedly to convince him to request President BBM to call the Supreme Court to withhold the issuance of the decision ordering his disbarment. He insinuates that certain personalities in the Supreme Court wanted to liberate his disbarment for certain favors from the, from the President. Such claims are malicious, district, disrespectful, and also contemptuous. His tirades, insinuations, and accusations have no place in a civilized and democratic country like the Philippines. The Integrated Bar of the Philippines, IBP, abhors such unprecedented conduct of a former lawyer. The IBP stands by the Supreme Court as it continues to discharge its con constitutionally guaranteed procedures in jurisdiction on matters relating to the discipline of errant members of the bar. If there ever was any uncertainty about whether this person deserved to be disbarred, his television interview is clear proof that the Supreme Court made the right decision. The IBP stands squarely behind the Honorable Supreme Court, particularly the Court's integrity and independence in the discharge of uh, its functions. Yan mga kabunyog, ang statement ng Integrated Bar of the Philippines. Yan, maganda. <laughs> Tama ito. Tama ito na ang association naming mga lawyers ay naglabas ng statement. Nakakahiya ito kay Gadon. Imagine ninyo yan. Ha? Hindi siya pinagtanggol ng mga kapwa-abogado niya. Hindi naman kasi dapat kampihan si Gadon sa issue na yan. Hindi rin namin may tutulirate ang kabastusan ni Gadon. In fact, nakakahiya na sa aming profession. Marami nga nang nagsasabi. Atorni, bakit uh, may mga abogadong ganyan kay Gadon? Ang totoo, nakakahiya na nga talaga sa profession namin. 
Mabuti na lang at talagang dinisiplina na siya ng integrated ng ano ng Supreme Court. Wala nang complaint na hinintay, moto proprio na. Ganun katindi ang uh, ang uh, naging pagtrato kay Gadon. At ngayon, ah, hindi siya kinampihan ng integrated bar. Ah, dapat kampihan siya ng integrated bar o kaya kung hindi man lang manahimik na lang yung integrated bar, hindi. Kinampihan pa ng integrated bar of the Philippines ang Supreme Court. Sabi ng integrated bar, tama lang yan. Tama lang yung ginawa na yan kay Gadon. <laughs> ha? Nakakahiya ito. Bunyog, bunyog, halikan na kasama ka. Bunyog, bunyog, kapag buklod ay may pag-asa. Tusong bisayas, mingganaw, isa ang pananaw. Sa bagong Pilipinas ang bunyog. Isisigaw Bunyog